Legend the way, so dubs on the run. No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt. Witness the sack, just give it a rub. Cause who knows what you'll find? Toy hunting with dub. Hey friends! Welcome to a Friday hunt video, the final hunt video of September and quarter three as we move into quarter four of hashtag be dub fit please use a hashtag be dub fit in the comments tell me one positive thing you've done for yourself mentally socially physically emotionally whatever the case may be if you entered to win a prize we're going to go back giving away figures here at the end of september you'll see uh, on next wednesday's hunt video i will um show you the four or five figures that are available for giveaway which i'll determine by sorting through all the stuff in my garage here uh, in the next week and uh, putting some stuff up and then I'm gonna get a bunch of other stuff posted on eBay. Uh, so my eBay links below, please check that out. I do have international shipping turned on, I think for everything, if you're an international buyer. Um, again, like I said, Wednesday, if you're interested in me selling on a different platform, just let me know. I'm not sure that I'll do it. Uh, what not really, you, you take a bath as a seller. Uh, I could try to do it through Facebook, that's possible. Uh, but I do wanna, do it correct and pay my taxes, pay fees. I, you know, this stuff doesn't bother me, right? I just want to do it the right way. Uh, so we'll see. But also, if there is an item on eBay and you want to reach out to me privately, it's fine. Do it through Instagram as the preferred method. Also, the Big Bad Toy Store link is in the description below. Please click it. Uh, if you're ordering, pre-ordering, and you don't use anybody's link, use someone's link. Uh, you can pull's link if you don't want to use mine, and uh, I'm sure there's some others uh, that have it. It just helps. Uh, Big Bad tr tracks all that, and uh, you know I've given away every penny of stuff that they've given me so far. So I appreciate that. Always uh, supporting, and especially if there's things that you can do to support that are free, uh, and you don't have to sign up or go spend any money anywhere else to get your free or anything like that. Uh, that's what I try to find. As the channel's been growing, there's been more opportunities. It's been interesting. Um, you know, most of that I turned down. I did do the thing with Into the AM. I am wearing Into the AM shirt right now. I like their shirts. Uh, I don't know if my promo code Big Dub is still active to get you 10% off. I haven't even heard from them, so I don't know if they maybe they didn't like the video. I don't know. Um, but we were authentic and honest, and we liked their stuff and gave you a collection video. Anyway, anyway, it's a Friday hunt video. Uh, lots going on in the toy community. You know, HasLab stuff, price increases, so forth. I don't want to talk about any of that but it is an interesting time. I would just encourage you to be positive. Try not to be a toxic force in that community. Um, you know, if you have something you want to say, say it. You can certainly say it in a professional, positive way that that is not demeaning of anybody. Uh, you know, we're going to disagree on things. That's the way it goes. But we don't have to call names and such. Um, you know, locker room talk is uh, happens in the locker room for a reason. Doesn't necessarily need to happen anywhere else. You know, we live in a different time where locker room talk is probably not acceptable in most places, but, you know, keep being civil uh, as you enter that interesting discourse. You know, a lot of fun in a hobby is the discourse, is the people that maybe see things a little bit different than you. It makes it enjoyable. It makes it entertaining. So, you know, it, it's not to not have the discourse, but, you know, try to, try to lift other people up, not bring them down. Um, Another point of administrative logistics, uh, I've actually had a number of people directly ask me if I could have channel memberships because they want to help support the channel, uh, actually financially. Uh, I don't know if I've ever said this publicly, but YouTube turned that on for me two years ago. They allowed me to turn on channel memberships. Uh, it was like man, just a little bit after COVID started, like April of 2020, so over two years ago. And I did record a welcome to channel membership video and uh, here's what you get as a channel member. Those videos are set to private. I never made them public. Um, the reason I recorded them is because YouTube was basically sending me an email every day. Hey, do you know you can maximize your revenue if you blah, 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 blah. And I wanted them to stop sending me those emails. So I uploaded them so it would check the checkbox, but I never made them public, never turned on memberships. Um, and if I'm honest with you, it's it's twofold. A, and I just don't really feel right asking for like true money. You know, I don't always feel right asking you to click the link, even. Um, but it's actual money, 
you know, I, I'm not doing anything that is worthy of you giving me your money. I know a lot of you would say otherwise. I provide you entertainment, you enjoy it, so forth. I'm not trying to turn this into a job. The money that I make off of YouTube, which is not a lot, we've talked about that, you know, each video, if it's a good video, I might make $10. And I'm talking about a life of the dubs, not a hunt video. If it's a really good one, like where we got a bunch of people, Toylanta video, something like that. Most of my videos make three or four bucks. You know, and I put out a lot of videos so that adds up. I might make 60, 80, $100 uh, on YouTube in a month. Uh, but I got to pay taxes on that. And, um, you know, so it's not like I'm doing this for income. I'm doing this uh, to interact with the community. I want to try to be a positive influence in the community uh, and just share our life. I think we have an interesting life as a collector family. Um, I think those of you who've watched me for many years now, as I've been on YouTube for five plus years, I think, total in total, um, somewhere around there, uh, you've just seen like a lot of interesting things happen in my life. And I like to share that. It's also home movies for me. But all these like going to Walmart and Target, this this specifically is just for hashtag beat up fit and to talk with you and share some things. And, you know, it's not, not the greatest stuff in the world. But, you know, if enough people truly say they're interested in channel memberships, um, I would consider it not, again, not for the revenue stream, but I could do some additional things that are just for channel members. Um, I just don't know what that would be. I know Natalie is interested in maybe making a, a couple hunt videos. We could do that maybe, or maybe we could do live. I don't know. I don't like hiding anything where you got to give me $5 to enjoy it. And I know what most of the YouTubers that I know do, they just make their videos available a day earlier. You know, is that giving you anything for your money? And if it's, you just want to support and just support. So I don't know. Um, I've been completely opposed to it. I don't like the thought of it. I, I think it, feel, it makes me feel dirty. Um, unless a lot of people want it and there's truly something of value that I can provide behind it that doesn't take away from those of you that have been supporting for a long time and don't want to give $4.99 or $1.99 or $9.99 or whatever, right? I don't want, I don't want my, my content to be, that's not what it's about. But if I could create something that would be of value to people, so I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts. Um, I am like 98% leaning against it, but just there's been a number of you that have reached out and said you'd like to support the channel a little more. Is there a way to turn that on? So I, I, I felt compelled to at least talk about it uh, and get the opinions. Like I said, I've had that video sitting there for two years and never turned it on. And uh, as I stand today, I don't plan to turn it on. Now, anyway, what are we doing on this Friday hunt video? Uh, I do have an ice, sugar-free iced coffee that I got at the racetrack gas station. It's actually pretty good. Uh, around here, we got racetrack and Quick Trip. They both have really good, like, sugar-free iced coffee, in my opinion. You know, for, for gas station coffee, it's good. Uh, but I'm on my way to Kohl's, actually. I just actually just finished the Wednesday hunt video. I left that Walmart. Uh, we're going to go to another Walmart. We're going to continue to look for the new Gargoyle and the new Secret of the Ooze Turtle 2-Packs. Uh, but specifically what I need is also to go to Kohl's. Uh, I'm going to a work event. Uh, kind of. I mean, it's a work event with Natalie tomorrow night. As you're watching this, it's been a few days ago. Um, and uh, one of the things she does in her new job is help organize some events with a local college. Uh, and some of their extracurricular activities. And there's an event and, and I'm gonna join her at that tomorrow night. And so I need to find um, a polo shirt that's the correct color for that. Because I don't think I have one currently. Uh, so I'm gonna swing by a Kohl's. You know, I, I'm not gonna go out of my way to go to the mall or anything like that. Because I may only wear the shirt one time. So I'm just gonna see if they have anything that fits that bill. Uh, and at Kohl's, I don't remember. They have toys. I think they have toys. Uh, my man Cody Fox of Verizon worked at Kohl's in a long time now, but I seem to think sometimes he that he would show the, the Lego, Marvel Legends, stuff like that. So we're going to look at Kohl's, and then we're going to go to that Walmart and see what we can find. Uh, so that is what is on the agenda for this Friday Hunt video. Uh, next week, or uh, Sunday, the Life of the Dubs episode 4, we go to the Killers concert, and Kaya and I go to Japan Fest. Um, we're doing a lot of firsts for Kaya. You will see in the next couple weeks of Life of the Dubs, it'll be the first time Kaya ever went to a cultural festival, the first time that she ever went to a live music concert, the first time she ever went to a live theater performance. We're trying to do a lot of new experiences for her. And again, uh, spend less money on the plastic in the house and more money on the experiences and, and honestly save less money. Right. <laughs> it's probably what it's feeling like, but save more money. 
because we've got a wedding coming up and we got a and I haven't set a date or anything like that, but we got to work our way uh, toward that, save some money for it. Anyway, enough rambling. Once again, I start these videos off way too long. I think it's because I didn't film anything for two weeks because I was so far ahead. So I felt like I had a lot to talk about with you and get you caught up. Uh, but let's go to Coles. Coles plus Sephora. I don't know that I realized that the Sephora cosmetic store is in Coles now. I also realized for the first time recently that Claire's is in the front of a bunch of Walmarts. A new? I mean, I don't go to Kohl's. Like, the only time I've been here recently was to, like, return Amazon stuff or something like that. Uh, so, not a place I frequent, but I don't know. Uh, also, as I'm filming this, a uh, new episode is premiering of Life with the Dubs. Do you all like it when I premiere episodes? Or do you prefer it when I just put them up? Uh, I know sometimes... Premiere, I try to get in the chat a little bit, but usually I'm doing something. But I know also people like it because you could interact with each other in the chat. So I'm just curious if you prefer it when I premiere so that you have the live chat or if you prefer it when I just drop it. I don't really have an opinion either way. Just curious what you think. Let's see. I would like a like an Under Armour polo shirt. This all just looks like t-shirts and hoodies. Uh... None of the oh, white polo shirts. Yeah, it's like something like this. Gotta find the right color, but I think that'll work. Just a little basic Under Armour polo shirt. Looking for toys. I got boots. I got griddles. I got people taking pictures with the Coles cart. I got uh, homewares. I don't know. I got that. Sonoma Goods. Let's see, shoes, vans. Huh. Maybe there are toys here. Maybe I was wrong. Some graphic tees, Naruto, Dragon Ball, Baby Yoda, or maybe just you. No, I think that's Baby Yoda. But that's not toys. I also need a TT pretty badly. So I'm on the look for the TT spot. Found the potty. Used it right over here by the toy. It's not a not a huge toy section, but there are quite a bit of Lego, actually. Uh, I mean, a lot of this is relatively new, so I don't think it's secondhand. Uh, it's a very very narrow toy aisle, so it's hard for me to show you. A Thomas Kincaid Baby Yoda puzzle. Puzzle. Some figures there. I'm trying to show you whatever's in here because I've never I don't think I've ever toy hunted in a Coles before and this is probably why it doesn't look like there's much certainly not any Hasbro stuff I don't think I'll go over there in a second Barbie looks like this is primarily Mattel and Lego I mean this is more like I mean there's a lot of Lego actually it's kind of more like normal Kid stuff. A bunch of these, almost like the way Costco gets them. Uh, there's that set that all the Lego folks think is ridiculous, which I mean, doesn't look very good. Looks like I could make that myself. Oh, the Batmobile. Oh, the pyramids down there. Lego building sets. Yeah, see, it's just dropped off here. There's that baby Groot. <laughs> that I want. That set is cool. You can open it up. See how it has all these things, all these details on the inside. I think that's a cool set. Uh, oh, the orchids are beautiful. We don't have that either. I'm not gonna buy that though, not today. We are way behind on our Lego building. All right, enough calls. Let me get you to Walmart. The Walmart, Ravens just kicked off. Dobbins playing today for the first time in a year and a half. Hopefully he has a good thing. I started him. I started him. I'm 0-2 in fantasy so far. Not good. But the first the first one, I lost by like a quarter of a point. And the second one, I was up big and they had Josh Allen playing on Monday night. He had a monster game. So I've lost very close both times. I think I have the third most points in the whole league. But I'm 0-2. That's the way fantasy goes. I hit Josh Allen. I played against Josh Allen when he had a monster game, and Jalen Hurts when he had a monster game. 
that's how you lose. But here we're looking for a Secret of the Use Turtle 2 pack and the new Gargoyles figure. Anything else we can find? Going right for it, right to the NECA. I believe, it's probably silly to believe, but I still believe. Oh, I see a Turtle 2 pack. That is Casey and April. That's not what we need. Legolas and Vicious and Aragorn. Alphonse, Katara. Uh, no, I don't think any of that is anything Natalie needs. Antetokounmpo, Antetokounmpo. Over here, Simpsons, Bismarcky. Alexa Bliss, bunch of Alexa Bliss. One of theirs will chase for that. Come on, new Gargoyles, new Turtles 2-pack. Ultimate April O'Neil still. Griff, Aliens, Aang. Oh, more disappointing. There's Demona. Looks like there's several Demona back there. Maybe that's good for the future of this Walmart getting whatever that new, either Hudson or Brooklyn. I can't remember what it is. Uh, Monsters at Work. The lovely uh, demo song of the Walmart TV playing. Well, poopy. Check the Lego aisle. Miles. Attack on new. I don't even remember that creature. Oh, that's from the very beginning of the movie when the Guardians are with them. Doesn't even make sense why the Guardians were there, I guess. Look at that llama village and Peach's castle, but that llama village. Hogwarts Dumbledore's office. Um, matchbox cars. I'm on the wrong aisle. I'm on the wrong aisle. On the right aisle now. The correct aisle. RC Ironhide. Have I seen that before? Knockout. A bunch of Lady J. Blur. None of that is terribly interesting. Darwin. Siren. I think those are gonna... You'll be able to almost complete that wave on clearance, I believe. I know there's a new that coming. Like a, like the Fire Lord mount I've seen somewhere. Black Adam. It's not bad looking. The Hawkman is actually pretty cool looking. Not for me, but probably for some folks. I don't know who that is. Oh, Cyclone. Not bad. Reva. Reva. The third sister. Oh, Ned 8. Have I seen this before? Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, Reva. Is it that whole wave? What else is back there? What's that say? Obi Wan. And there's these New Republic security droid. Of course, Orlando. It's a Leia. Obi Wan Vader. The fifth brother Inquisitor. I know there are those Leia. I know those are relatively new. You know, some people want that Vader, I believe. I don't know what that is. Lola. Roomba. Halo stuff. Fortnite is the beef balls truck. I mean, this is another example, like the plastic free packaging or even the tiny plastic window. Like, I can't tell what it is. I'm not sure if I want that or not. It, it makes me just skip over it because I can't see the figure. That's the primary thing for me. Is I'm like, I don't even realize it's a toy. Series 6, Penta L0, Hager MJF, Sheeta, and a whole bunch of Santana Ortiz. AW peg warms here. At least those those waves just pile up. It's a Sasha Banks. That's an old figure, I think. Let me see what that is. Oh my gosh. Wasn't that a Walgreens exclusive, I thought? Maybe not. That's confusing. I thought that was a Walgreens exclusive at some point. Huh. Honky Tonk Man. Batista, there's a. <laughs> that's Sasha Banks. Cena, T bar. Carrying cross. Alright. Nothing here for us. Well, that'll wrap it up. 
for this week's Friday hunt video. A little bit shorter. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if there'd be stuff at Kohl's or not. I guess there wasn't. There wasn't really. It was Lego. I looked a lot of Lego today. Spent a lot of time looking at my face. No, no, not everybody's favorite. Uh, but no secret of the ooze yet. Hopefully soon we'll find those turtle two packs. Or maybe just NECA will fulfill the VHS style four pack. That'd be fine too. I'd like to get that shelf built out now that I have the Shredder and the Togo and Razor. And uh, it's a little sparse. But thanks for joining again Sunday. Good life of the dubs. Kai's first concert. Uh, it's very, very fun. Uh, a lot of joy for me to see her experience that for the first time. Uh, good, good family memory. So hope you enjoy it. And uh, next week we'll do the September giveaway and continue on to the fourth quarter of hashtag beat up fit. Till then, squeeze it.